Hospital Port's Pride and Dignity, Stop the New World Order. Welcome to Hapanlo TV. Um, this is part four of my swine flu diary. Um, this is Wednesday evening now, and by the time you, you watch this, it's going to be a lot later, because I would like to say, I won't be, up, be able to upload it for a while, because I'm at my dad's house, and I've got no internet access. So it'll probably, by the time you watch this, it'll probably be Saturday, Sunday, maybe later. Um, and like, like I say, I'm at my dad's house. I, I've been feeling a lot better, and I've been eating. I've been eating um, um, things such as um, sardines. I've eaten some um, vegetables and some things, something for vitamin D and for for omega three. And also, I've been eating um, um, lots of citrus fruit, like satsumas, oranges, lemons, for vitamin C. Um, my doctor prescribed me some uh, something which I haven't looked at yet. I don't know what the prescription is yet, but I haven't been able to go down and get it. I'm not well enough to go to the chemist shop. Um, you know, obviously there's some things that I wouldn't even take out anyway. Um, now you may be wondering why I'm sort of jiggling around like this, and the reason is I've got I've, I've developed new symptoms. You know, I've been feeling less full of malaise, but I've started twitching. It's really strange. I've um, it's like I can't sit still. I want to keep moving. I have to keep moving to be comfortable. Like I say, if I try and lie still like this, you know, it just it's it's unbearable. It's like it's really really uncomfortable. I have to keep moving all the time. I hope it doesn't go on all night because I won't be able to sleep. Um, I also feel like my skin's on fire. It's burning. You know, it's, it's a big burning feeling all over my skin, especially on my arms and my back. It's like it's glowing. It's like it's on fire. It's it's very very strange. Um, but again, I, I reiterate the point I made before. It's not as bad as the media are making it out to be. It's not something horrific and and um, life threatening. You know, it's unpleasant. It's a nasty illness. It's worse than any other flu I've had. It's worse than any illness I've had since I was a kid when I had glandular fever. Well, that was horrible. That was. I'll never forget it. I was only five years old, but <coughs> it was horrible. Um, still got a bit of a cough as well. <coughs> but I've been eating. Um, I even had a glass of wine. This I thought might help. Um, I'll let you know um, more of what's happened, more of what happens uh, as it happens. Um, and also, uh, here's to a, a pleasant, relaxing night for me. Well, for you, if not for me. Hospital Port's Pride and Dignity. Stop the New World Order.